Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kristen Button. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, we're at the Charlotte Motor Speedway at the Speedway Christmas. And Kristen's going to tell you all about that. Got a lot of great information on today's show. So if you missed any contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, and it's right there. Today, CTW takes a spin around the track at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the ninth annual Speedway Christmas. This year's light show is bigger and better, featuring more than 3 million lights and an updated lights to music drive through section along the 3.5 mile course. The LED lights make the Speedway sparkle. 7,000 12 foot strands of lights totaling nearly 16 miles are hung throughout the course to provide fans with a visual experience unlike any other. Visitors have the rare opportunity to drive their vehicle around the track at Charlotte Motor Speedway for nearly one mile and can tune their radios to 101.3 FM to hear festive holiday music. More than a light show, Speedway Christmas is a wonderland. The Christmas Village is open Thursday through Sunday and includes a petting zoo, Bethlehem Village with a living nativity scene, horse-drawn wagon rides, photos with Santa, and more. Speedway Christmas is open 6 to 10 p.m. through December 31st, excluding Christmas Day. Tickets are available online or at the gate. Admission is $20 per car every Monday through Wednesday night, $25 per car on Thursday and Sunday nights, and $30 per car on Friday and Saturday nights. Group rates are available. For more information on the Speedway Christmas events and activities with Holiday Light Show, open nightly through December 31st, 6 to 10 p.m., call 1-800-455-3267 or visit charlottemotorspeedway.com. Now, it's never too early to start planning for that new you, yeah. okay, in the new year. Now, the Cabarrus County Senior Center is going to offer multiple free or low-cost classes like Tai Chi, Hot Hula Fitness. That it would be nice favorite. right now. Right. <laughs> and basic computers. Okay, now registration opens soon for session one, which begins on January the 7th. Ask your session guide for your session guide at the front desk, or you can access it online simply by going to cabarruscounty.us slash seniors. For more information on the Senior Center classes, visit cabarruscounty.us slash seniors or call 704-920-3484. Recently crowned as the new Queen of Bluegrass, Rhonda Vincent is the most decorated artist in that field. Mm. You can hear her classic bluegrass January 19th from at 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. at the Davis Theater. Tickets are $40 and can be purchased online at CabarrasArtsCouncil.org or by calling 704-920-2753. Now, our friends at the Cabarrus Health Alliance offer free community yoga. That's pretty cool. Yeah. On Friday, December the 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. You stretch out all that turkey and ham you ate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now you can, I, I never thought about that. Yeah. Okay, now you can find the Cabarrus Health Alliance in downtown Kannapolis at 300 Mooresville Road. Now, yoga is a great way to res relieve that stress yes. of the turkey. Okay. Yes. Or and, your family being or in your, your house. Or your family. That's another one. Yeah. And learn to listen to your body. Now this class is perfect intro class for people at all levels of fitness. Come give it a stretching good chance, of course. So, what so, was that? I don't know. What was that? <laughs> for more information, I was just thinking about the turkey in the hand. It was like a Scrooge, kind of. <laughs> That's it. So for more information on community <laughs> yoga, December 28th, 6 to 7 p.m., Cabarrus Health Alliance in Kannapolis, visit CabarrusHealth.org or call 704-920-1303. Hey, David, take a hike this new year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like right not, now? No, no not okay, right now. Okay. You're keeping me a little warm. <laughs> Bundle up and join the staff at Rob Wallace Park for a New Year hike Saturday, January 5th, 2 to 4 p.m., which is also... January 5th. <laughs> Which is also <laughs> my birthday. Oh, well, gosh. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> really, I take have, a hike. <laughs> now you can take a hike. I have a card. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, you don't. This family-friendly one-mile hike explores the flower trail and is followed with hot cocoa, crafts, birthday cake for Kristen. Just kidding. <laughs> meet right. and greets with some friendly ambassador animals. For more information on the New Year hike, January 5th, 2 to 4 p.m. at Rob Wallace Park, Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Now break that winter boredom with a game of bingo. You can yeah. do that on Friday, December the 28th at 10.30 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. to Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. Everyone is welcome to attend this Friday fun day. Will your card be the lucky winner? Yeah, you have to find out. For more information on bingo, December 28th, 10.30 a.m. to 11.15 a.m., 
Not 1116, but no, 1150. Very <laughs> okay. specific. Very. Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-436-8034. Beekeeping can be a sweet hobby. Certified beekeepers from the Cabarrus County Beekeeping Association host a beekeeping series, which is insanely popular oh, yes, in is. Cabarrus. That's going to be on Tuesdays, January 23rd through March 27th, it's set from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Cooperative Extension Office. This series introduces participants to history, background, bee anatomy, all I need to know is I got a stinger. <laughs> yeah, right. That's all I need to know. But you'll also learn about equipment and products involved with beekeeping. Managing hives requires you to think like a bee and you'll ret retrieve the sweet reward of honey in no time. All right. The series is $43 and registration is required. For more information or to register for beekeeping series, Tuesdays, January 23rd through March 27th, 7 to 9 p.m. at the Cooperative Extension Office. Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3310. Now you don't need to wait until midnight to oh, celebrate the really? new year. No, you don't. I did not know this. Yeah, you could just count down to noon <laughs> during the new year <laughs> eve party. Okay, oh, on Saturday. Alert. Yeah, Saturday 29th, December 29th at 11 a.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the library. Now this daytime event is just for those ages. 4 to 12. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Chris. That's okay. Okay. Kids will make crafts, listen to stories, say goodbye to 2018, and welcome 2019. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> For more information on the noon year's eve party, December 29th, 11 a.m., Kannapolis Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or just call 704-920-1180. Are you the type to take down your holiday decor the moment the last guest leaves? No. I do. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it stays up forever. I'm ready for, for New Year after everyone leaves. <laughs> the City of Concord wants to remind you that Christmas trees are collected on the same day as your normal trash. Hmm. So don't forget to remove all your garland, lights, right. ornaments, tinsel, and the strand. I'm just imagining all these people taking a fully decorated <laughs> Christmas tree. tree. But obviously we need to say it because yes. someone has done it. That's the only reason why we have to say this. <laughs> um, it. And take it off the stand prior to placing the tree on the curb. For more information on the City of Concord residents yard waste. Visit concordnc.gov or call 704-920-5555. Now the Cabarrus County governmental offices, including the Cabarrus County Government Center, Department of Human Services, Animal Shelter, all the library branches and senior centers, Camp Spencer Park, Frank List Park, Vietnam Veterans, Rob Wallace will all close on Tuesday, January 1st to observe New Year's. Republic Services will operate its holiday schedule with a one-day delay for residents the week of December 31st. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on yeah. the show today, and some some of it made sense the way I said it, and some didn't. So anyway, it all makes sense, Yeah, David. so what you got to do, find out about it, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, and the info's right there. We want to thank all of our Facebook fans, Twitter followers, and Instagram lights. Likes, not lights. Mm -hmm. We are behind the <laughs> yeah, lights. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can get in on the social media conversation at Cabarrus County. We also want you to sign up for our weekly e-newsletter. It tells you about all kinds of events going on around the county. Just go to cabarruscounty.us. Search for newsletter, pop in some information, and it comes to you every Thursday. And if you have family and friends that don't have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, you just want to watch us when you get a chance. All you got to do, ta -da, go to cabarruscounty.us <laughs> slash Cabco TV, and you can look at us on demand, And hey, we've, or you can live stream the channel 24-7. Mm -hmm. You got to check out the Kannapolis Christmas Parade. It's really beautiful. And I tell you what. It's always cool to come out out here for the Speedway Christmas. And the yeah. lights are amazing. I love the music, how it's synchronized. They have movies on the weekends. Oh, yes. And the, the, the village and all kinds of cool mm -hmm. stuff. So you got to check it out. And until next week, you have a great one. Happy holidays. See you next week. <laughs>